Hello everyone, Logan from Curated Avalon, and today I have a really neat fountain pen unboxing. This was an Instagram giveaway I won, and the giveaway was thrown by Pens by Pascal. So this is actually a handcrafted fountain pen made by Nicholas Pascal. And thank you so much, Nicholas, for the giveaway. This is so exciting, and I'm really just, I'm wanting to get into this, so I think I'll just go right ahead. Oh wow, it's just like right there. Oh, look at that. Okay, so I love the packaging. I like being able to like see it when you open it. That's so cool. And he did say there would be a ink sample of his choice and it looks blue. I'm not sure what that ink is. I'll have to look it up, but very cool. The pen, I'm just kind of over here flipping out, is absolutely stunning. Like the photos and video that he sent me of this absolutely do not do this justice. This is fantastic. I love red, white, and blue. Uh, if I'm not doing like metals with black and silver, uh, red, white, and blue is really my jam. As a matter of fact, as a teenager, there was like this entire maybe five year period where I just like wore red, white, and blue clothes like all the time. Now it's mostly black, but then it was red, white, and blue. That is just so gorgeous. And this is a number six steel Bach nib. And he said that his nibs are actually tuned by Kirk Spear from Pen Realm. Oh, threads work really well. He did say that these were 13 millimeter, 13 millimeter threads. They go on and off really well. Wow. This is just so gorgeous. It reminds me in the best way possible of a push pop. I loved those. The cherry was my favorite. Oh my golly. So many push pops. You know, you eat them until it's like pointy, like the end of a spear. And then you really try not to stab people with it. <laughs> but wow, that is absolutely gorgeous. So I will go ahead and ink this up. I'll check out. Let's see. This is Pascal's card. And there is a note. I'm just going to read it off camera real quick. Okay, so the note says that the ink is Amairo. I don't know how to correctly pronounce that. I'm going to go with Amairo from Pilot. I think I'm going to have to grab, well, I was going to say, I think I'd have to grab a syringe to fill it. Let's, it, it doesn't look, oh my goodness, it does fit. Let's see if I can get any in the pen without having a complete disaster. Do I even have it? Yeah, I do. Okay. The kerchief. Ooh. I didn't get any. Okay. I think I got like just a touch, but not enough. Go for it one more time. Okay, I had to get some that time. Okay, yay, I did. Not sure which to do first, cap it or cap this. <laughs> All right, I do have a paper towel. That looks like a great blue. Cool. All right, I'm just gonna cap this while I cap this because I don't need any kind of a disaster. Mm. 
All right. And this is a Tomoe River paper notebook from Goulet Pens. And this is the dot grid, and I never use dot grid, so it's just fair game for scratch paper for me. Set that aside. This is his Cerberus pen, which I think that is such a cool name. If you're not familiar, I believe that is the three-headed dog from mythology. This is a straight body type, flat cap and back. I do like flat caps a lot. I don't mind rounded, but I seem to gravitate towards flat ends. It's very sturdy, feels good. This is a medium nib and it is tuned by Kirk Spear from Pen Realm. This is very pretty ink. I have never tried this before and I think that is quite Quite pretty. nib is really nicely tuned. Feet's keeping up really, really well. The pen is very comfortable. Oh yes, and of course the ink. Let me see, where did I put that? The ink is... My hero from Pilot. As I said, I am probably butchering the pronunciation on that. My sister is constantly correcting me, uh, especially on Asian pronunciation of names. This is actually really pretty. I love the ink. I love the pen. This is very, very comfortable and nice and uh, will probably be added to my current lineup of writers. The bright red just really gets me. I really like that. I like how the grip section matches the cap. I always appreciate that. Very, very comfortable. I think I'll just write a quick thank you note. And uh, what, what a better way to write a thank you note to someone who gave you a fountain pen than with the fountain pen and ink they sent you. I think that's perfect. All right, so thank you so much, Nicholas. I absolutely love the pen and I will indeed use it often.